Hi, this is Kate. I'm here in Bristol um, in the sewing studio. Um, I'm going to show you today about hand hemming because it's so easy um, and I don't want you all to be kind of, you're not wearing your favourite party dress because a bit of the hem's fallen down and it looks messy. Like it, it's a two minute job um, and it's really easy. So what I've got here um, is a beautiful top and it's actually, I'll be honest, it's part of a bigger alteration. So I've actually taken this in um, on these seams here and then what we're going to do now is just put this bit of hem back. Um, which is just the same as if you've caught it on something or it's fallen down. What we're going to do first of all is just make sure that we're doing it in precisely the right place. So we're just going to pin, we're going to look at what the rest of the garment looks like, position it in exactly the same place, give it a pin. And the key with this sort of hemming is that you're not going all the way through to the other side of the garment, it doesn't want to be visible on the other side. Also, we're going to start from the inside so you don't see the knot um, that I've tied in the thread or anything like that. It's all going to be invisible. One thread on the garment, but not going all the way through. Um, and we're going to do that all the way along. So really, it's just a case of um, making sure it matches. You know, you don't want to then turn it back the other way around and notice that it's kind of looking a bit sad and it's not uniform to the rest of the garment. I wanted to show you as well, well, I've sort of started that one off. Um, when you've got jersey garments, you might sort of, it's got sort of an overlocked edge and you might kind of think, oh, I haven't got that machine so I can't mend it. When it's fallen down like this, um, you can totally fix it with a very similar um, stitch by hand. Um, all you need to do is make sure you've got a big loose thread. So where this one's really nice and tight, you want to make it quite loose on here and loopy so that once it stretches, it's not going to snap. Um, if you did a really tight one, as soon as you pull it, it will break. Um, whereas, yeah, either a big stitch on your machine or preferably like a big loopy stitch by hand. And then that will stay up and it won't fall down. And none of our stitches are visible here or on here, which is great. So I would say when you're doing a really fine fabric, just be really careful that you don't snag because um, then you can create a run in the fabric. So it's just about being really careful and it's sort of respectful to the fabric that you're not going to stop pulling it around and damaging it worse than it was already damaged. Um, it's like a really sharp needle. And it's kind of always, as you're going along as well, it's making sure that you're not ending up with like an excess of fabric at this end. It's just making sure all the way around you're kind of evening it as you go. I'm going to tie it off using the needle. Oops, throwing it everywhere. Get that a snip. The next thing I'll do with that is just give it a press. But as you can see, that looks really lovely. It's finished. 